boys and girls, what an amazing week we've had learning so many great things in the war chapters. Let's start with our wiggle song with our hands and really get our hands moving so we can do all the fun activities today in singing time. Here we go. My hands. to go grab two paper plates if you have them if not you can just use your hands but we are going to review Nephi's courage because he had so much courage and he I will go I will do it's such a fun song about being an obedient faithful servant so let's grab our plates and here we go with Nephi's courage just follow my actions <laughs> did what the Lord asked him to do. So the Nephites and the Lamanites were having a battle. And this is what Moroni is described as in the scriptures. It says Moroni was a strong and a mighty man. He was a man of perfect understanding, a man that did not delight in bloodshed, a man whose soul did joy in the liberty and the freedom of his country and his brethren from bondage and slavery, a man whose heart did dwell in thanksgiving to God and blessings, oh, for the blessings and privileges bestowed upon his people, a man who did labor exceedingly for the welfare and the safety of his people. He did so much for his people and he loved God. Isn't that amazing? Yea, he was a man who was firm in the faith of Christ 
and he had sworn an oath to defend his people, his rights and his country and his religion, even to the loss of his blood. That is amazing. Here is a picture of Captain Moroni. Moroni visited a primary I was in once. Here is a picture of someone like Moroni, dressed up, showing the children all about Moroni and what he stood for. Take a look at these pictures and tell me, what do you think this is showing about Moroni? Isn't he a man of God? Isn't it awesome that he is going to teach the children about this? Here's what it says in the scriptures. And they were taught that never to give an offense and never raise the sword except an enemy was to preserve their lives. And this was their faith that by so doing, God would prosper them in the land. Or in other words, if they were faithful in keeping the commandments, God would prosper them in the land and warn them to flee or to prepare for war according to their danger. What did they have to do to be kept safe? Did you hear it? Yes. God would make it known unto them whether they should go to defend themselves against their enemies. And by doing so, he would deliver them and his faith of Moroni did glory in preserving his people, yea, in keeping the commandments of God and resisting iniquity. How cool that those whole people, the people of Moroni in this battle, were going to be protected because they kept the commandments. Yea, verily, I say unto you, if all men had been and were and ever would be like unto Moroni, the very powers of hell would have been shaken forever, and the devil would never have power over the hearts of the children of men. Awesome! So Moroni was an amazing man, strong in strength and strong in spirit. And those people knew that they could be protected if they kept the commandments. Let's sing, keep the commandments, but I want you to do some actions for me. I have here some CTR shields. Do you see that the CTR is shaped like a shield? How awesome. We'll talk about the shields in a minute. I want you guys, you can just use your hands like this, pushing out, going up, pushing out. Okay, we're going to do some actions and I'm going to use these so you can see them a little better, all right? Let's sing Keep the Commandments, our first verse. Just like that CTR shield, he had the Nephites do something to prepare for battle. Let's read what it said. Moroni had prepared his people with breastplates and with arm shields and shields to defend their heads and their legs and very thick clothing and swords. And their enemies did not have any of those. They just had a loincloth and the weapons in their hands and they were naked and afraid at all the ways we can prepare to defend against our enemies. Did you know that we are in a war right now with Satan and that we have to spiritually defend ourselves? And there's lots of things we can do to do that. We'll talk about some of those, like prayer, scripture study, having a testimony and a firm faith, following the prophets, listening to their words, all of this protective equipment that they had in their battle, we should be thinking about how we can properly protect ourselves against the temptations of Satan in this spiritual battle we have in the world today. I want to read you some things that Moroni had his people do. This is something he really prepared them for. Not just their armor, he had them do more things. These are some things, see if you can count them off or make up an action that you can do that shows it. He caused that his army should commence 
in digging up heaps of earth. Dig up the heaps. Oh my goodness, so much digging. And all around the city they dug, throughout all the lands. And then on top of those ridges of earth that they dug up, he caused that they should be timbers. So they stacked more and more things up against it. And then they built it up to the height of man, all the way around the city, so taller than their enemies. And then he caused upon the timbers that there should be pickets. And then upon the pickets that were so strong and so high, he had towers that were built to overlook all the pickets and the places of security that were all around there so that nothing could hurt them. Their armor, their trenches, their towers, their pickets, their, oh my goodness, they were ready. They were protected. How awesome is that? Moroni did prepare strongholds against the coming of their enemies around every city in the land. This week, you were delivered a primary goodie bag, and it had lots of fun things in it for music time. I want you to go get your red cup. And if you aren't in my ward, go find one at home, any kind of cup that you can use. We are going to do our song, I Will Be Valiant, just like those followers of Moroni were valiant in digging those trenches, doing all the things they needed to protect their cities. So go ahead and get it and follow me with the actions. Here we go. children what does it look like he's showing them do you see what he has on that stick do you see that white cloth that is known as the title of liberty and let's read about it this is what happened and it came to pass that he rent his coat and he took a piece thereof and wrote upon it in memory of our God our religion our freedom and our peace our wives and our children and he fastened it upon a, the end of a pole and he held it above his head and he called it the title of liberty and he bowed himself to the earth and he prayed mightily unto God for the blessings of liberty to rest upon his brethren as long as there should be a band of Christians to remain to possess the land for thus they were all true believers in Christ who belonged to the church called by those who did not belong to the church and those who did belong to the church were all faithful. Yea, and all who were true believers of Christ took upon them gladly the name of Christ, or Christians as they were called because of their belief in Christ who should come. What an amazing thing he did. What a great thing to stand for. Your family, your faith, your freedom. Let's sing, I belong to the church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And let's do it with conviction, just like those followers of Moroni had. Here we go. March of I belong to the church of Jesus Christ of power. Grab your scriptures if you have them. You can raise them at that part when we say it, okay? Here we go. Because I want to be like the Savior and I can. I'm reading his instructions. I'm following his plan. Because I want the power. His words will get to me. I'm changing what I'll be. 
verse to that song. All right, for the second verse, we're going to need our props back. Here's how it goes. Repeat after me. I'll find the sword of truth in each scripture that I learn. I'll find the sword of truth in each scripture that I learn. Good. Repeat this one. I'll take the shield of faith from these pages that I turn. Again, I'll take the shield of faith from these pages that I turn. Good, here we go. I'll wear each vital part of the armor of the Lord. Again, I'll wear each vital part of the armor of the Lord. Good. And fight my daily battles and win a great reward. Again. And fight my daily battles and win a great reward. And then we'll sing our scripture power part, okay? These will be my scriptures for that part. Here we go. Let's try it with the music, the second verse. Ready? It starts with our song. to be on the Lord's side. We chose to come down here and fight that battle against Satan with every choice that we make as we choose the right, like the shield says in the CTR, as we keep the commandments that we've been given, and as we read the scriptures, we are fighting that daily battle and we will succeed. I know it. Just like Captain Moroni led the people as they put in the work, if we put in that daily work and do all of those things, to protect our homes and our spirit against Satan, we will be victorious and we will feel protected from that. I want to sing the chorus that we've been learning in sign language of I feel my Savior's love. And you know why I want to do this? Because it says, he knows I will follow him, give all my life to him. I think that's what those people the Nephites, who were following Captain Moroni, were doing when they raised that title of liberty, saying they would do that in honor of their God, their family, their freedoms, and all those things. That's what we are saying, and we can feel his love every day as we continue to do that. Here we go. Okay, get ready for the sign language. Savior's love this week as you continue to choose the right and do great things. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. 